let's uh, develop a relationship between activation energy and Z value. We will look at some of the mathematics that is involved and then come up with a expression that can be then used to determine activation energy from a given Z value or obtain Z value from a given activation energy. So we know from Arrhenius equation that rate constant K equals a e raised to power minus e a over r t a where k is the rate constant a is the frequency factor e a is the activation energy r is the gas constant and t a is temperature in absolute now we want to keep that in mind that this value of temperature is in absolute as we will be making some observations later when the calculations involve temperature. So first we can determine this rate constant at two different temperatures. So we can write K1 equals AE raised to power minus EA over RTA1 and K2 equals AE raised to power minus EA over RTA2. Next, if we divide these two equations, on the left-hand side, we have K1 over K2. The A values will cancel out on the right-hand side, and we will obtain K1 over K2 equals E raised to power minus EA over RTA1 divided by E raised to power minus EA over RTA2. Next, we can simplify the right hand side as e raised to power minus ea over rta1 minus ea over rta2 we can then take natural log of both sides so we have natural log of k1 over k2 equals and natural log of e is 1 so we will have minus ea over r in parentheses 1 over ta1 minus 1 over TA2. Now recall from a previous tutorial that there is a relationship between K and D value where we found that relationship to be K equals 2.303 over D. So we can rewrite the left hand side as natural log of 2.303 divided by D1 and then D2 over 2.303. Now 2.303 will cancel out, so we are left with natural log of D2 over D1. Now we can also convert that natural log into log to the base 10. So we have natural log of D2 over D1 equals 2.303 log of to the base 10 D2 over D1. That equals 2.303 and in parentheses we will have log d2 minus log d1. Then we can go ahead and write our complete equation as we had before. So instead of the natural log of k1 over k2, now we have 2.303 log of d2 minus log of d1 equals minus ea over r in parentheses 1 over ta1 minus 1 over ta2. And then we have log of D2 minus log of D1 equals minus EA over 2.303R in parentheses 1 over TA1 minus 1 over TA2. Now note from the previous tutorial on Z value that Z value is obtained when we have log of D plotted against temperature and Z value is obtained as the negative inverse of the slope of that line. So the slope of that line is log D1 minus log D2 divided by T2 minus T1 and we should add a negative sign because this line is sloping downward and then Z then equals negative of in parentheses the inverse of slope. 
So the inverse of slope is minus t2 minus t1 divided by log d1 minus log d2. So negative signs will cancel out and you will have t2 minus t1 log d1 minus log d2. Or we can rearrange the terms to get log d1 minus log d2 equals t2 minus t1 divided by z. We can also multiply both sides with a negative sign and obtain log d2 minus log d1 equals t1 minus t2 over z. So we will use this expression along with the previous expression where we had the activation energy term. Note that the left hand side of these two equations is the same. So we can equate the right hand side terms in these two equations on the next screen. So we have t1 minus t2 over z equals minus Ea over 2.303r in parentheses 1 over Ta1 minus 1 over Ta2. Now we can further simplify the right hand side as minus Ea over 2.303r in the parentheses we have TA1 times TA2 in the denominator and TA2 minus TA1 in the numerator. So next we will on the right hand side take the negative sign inside. So we have EA over 2.303R equals TA1 minus TA2 divided by TA1 times TA2. Now note that uh, although the temperature TA is on absolute scale and temperature T on the left hand side is in Celsius scale. The difference between two temperatures on Celsius scale is the same as the difference in the absolute scale. So we have T1 minus T2 equals TA1 minus TA2. So those two terms will cancel out and we are left with 1 over Z equals EA divided by 2.303R 1 over TA1 times TA2. We can again rearrange these terms as activation energy Ea equals 2.303 times R times Ta1 times Ta2 divided by Z. Now for a small temperature range, Ta1 times Ta2 can be written as Ta1 square. Note that this is absolute temperature. And also we know that R equals 1.987 calories per mole Kelvin. So activation energy then Ea is equal to 4.58 which is the uh, multiplication between 1.987 and 2.303 times Ta square divided by Z. Again we use an approximate sign. Uh, because we have made an approximation of TA1 times TA2 being equal to TA1 square. So this expression allows us to convert a value of Z into activation energy or if we are given the activation energy we can convert that to Z at a certain temperature that is given in absolute.